A new weather satellite is being called a game changer for forecasters in the Western Hemisphere. The most advanced weather satellite ever built recently rocketed into space, part of an $11 billion partnership between NOAA and NASA to revolutionize forecasting and save lives. This new goes our spacecraft will track U.S. and Canadian weather as never before. Hurricanes, tornadoes, flooding, volcanic ash, wildfires, lightning storms, solar flares, and even airplane turbulence. The biggest improvement over the satellites currently being used is higher resolution imagery. Think high definition TV versus black and white. Now all our weather satellites right now are placed in geostationary orbit and that's what this new one will be placed in too. Meaning the satellite remains fixed relative to the same spot on Earth, essential for monitoring storms. But at 35,000 kilometers up, getting high resolution details of what's going on down below can be a challenge. New technology will allow GOES-R to provide four times more spatial resolution with five times faster coverage. The finer features of a rapidly changing storm system will be available in real time, whether that be a snowstorm, a hurricane or a tornado. The satellite will offer more clues about how the weather is evolving, and that means more accurate and timely forecasts. Among GOES-R six highly advanced instruments is the first operational lightning mapper of its kind, which will allow forecasters to track lightning over the entire hemisphere almost instantaneously. While much of the monitoring will be of the Earth below, Gozar will also track the sun for extreme space weather events that could affect our communication. Gozar will undergo testing and validation for one year before being put into operational use, and there are more satellites to come. Gozar is actually the first in a series of four satellites, R, S, T, and U, which will extend satellite coverage through to 2036. To say meteorologists are excited is a bit of an understatement. Now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.